Hey everyone, Equinox here, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, Link Evolution. Uh, we've been here once before. I decided to take a break from Earthbound for a bit and just uh, wanted to play something a little bit more relaxing. Earthbound, and as well as any good RPG, can be very stressful for me at, at times, so... Uh, I want to do something a little different. So I want to go back to playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I've been in a yu gi oh -y mood. Um, I want to test out my deck. My, uh, I made a few decks, uh, with different themes. One of them's about, like, stopping spell and trap cards. One of them is all about darkness. Uh, the one that I want to play in this episode, I call Dark Charm. It's a combination of dark magicians and charmers. As well as spellcasters in general, because I love spellcaster type monsters. I love magic type anything, really. So, I'm going to challenge the main man himself, Yugi. Uh, but, I don't want to just fight Yugi. I want to kind of level up to him. So, let me start by fighting against and an, another so-called master of magicians, Arcana. As the Battle City tournament continued, Merrick learned that the Egyptian god card he was seeking had been played. Obelisk the Tormentor has been played? Yes, moments ago in Battle City. And we've identified the card's owner, Seto Kaiba. Of course. How did you know, sir? It's quite simple. My sister Ishizu conspires against me. She gave Kaiba that card, so she gave Kaiba that card to stop me. I should have known Ishizu is behind this whole tournament. She used her Millennium Necklace to foresee the events of Battle City. Ishizu knew if she gave Obelisk the Tormentor to Kaiba, he throw a tournament he throw a tournament out of greed to obtain the other Egyptian god cards. Sir, Shall I order a team of rare hunters to pay Kaiba a little visit? No, leave Kaiba to his games. First, I'll need to weaken the Pharaoh. Dispatch Arcana to take down Yugi Moto. Later, in, battle, in the Battle City tournament, a strange clown lured Yugi to a secret lair with dangerous contraptions. Welcome, Yugi Moto. I am the illusionist known as Arcana, and soon, your favorite card. The Dark Magician will be dueling for me! Only a true Master of Illusion deserves to hold a Dark Magician, and you will never understand its full potential. That's enough, Arcana! I know it must be hard to think of your favorite card in another duelist deck. Well, I challenge you to a duel. The winner will take the loser's Dark Magician. And I accept. You must, uh, you must know that when a duelist b builds his deck, he chooses his favorite cards from many different types of cards. But sometimes, a card can choose a duelist. The two are connected, and the duelist can tap into the card's true power. Fuck yeah. Because each duel- <laughs> Because each is bound by the heart of the cards. The Dark Magician has chosen me. Enough! Let's shuffle our decks and let the show begin! Okay, I'm using my deck. Uh, where is it? Dark Charm. So it's us versus Arcana. That little story synapses didn't exactly uh, get the full picture because not only is Yugi risking his Dark Magician card, he's risking his life. Uh, he's, his legs are shackled and there's a swirling blade that's going to saw off his legs if his life points reach zero. And same thing for Arcana. It's a very high stakes duel. Although, in English, it's the dark energy disc that, once upon contact, will send them to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> you know, their way of censoring out dismemberment, I guess. Alright, I gotta be careful. He plays two cards face down. Uh, I'll start off with Apple Magician Girl in attack mode. I don't need to activate Magical Dimension just yet. Attack! It's life points directly! No, I don't need to activate Magical Dimension. Attack is life points directly! Bring it on! Uh? Activate this card of... 
What does that do? Activating this card by targeting one effect monster on the field negates its effect. Face the monster once. Also, a face the monster cannot attack. When this card is destroyed, destroy this card. Alright, alright. So, shit. If my effect is negated, now would be a good time to use Magical Dimension. But no, I'm going to wait until he plays a powerful card. Because Magical Dimension will allow me to destroy it. But, I got some pretty good cards in my hand. I just got to know when to play them. Uh, monsters with 1500 or more attack cannot declare an attack. That's stupid. Shit, dog. Now might be a good use of magical thing because I can get rid of that card. So I'll special summon Gemini Elf and destroy. Wait, what? Are you serious? It can only destroy monsters. Uh, never mind. Uh, whatever. Uh, monsters with 1500 or more attack power cannot declare an attack. Fine. Then... I'll just have to... Play my cards right. I, I, ah, shit. I should have attacked with Magician of Faith. That, that would have been 300 points of damage to him. Oh no, Dark Magic Curtain! He's summoning Dark Magician! But it's okay, I got change of heart. I just need to time when to play it carefully. Very carefully. Huh. Aha! Harpy's Feather Duster. Destroy all of your face down cards and face up cards. Magic and traps. Oh, snapskies. Good deal, good deal, good, good deal, good, good deal, good deal, good deal. Oh, yeah, change of heart. Your dark magician works for me now. And just for funsies, magician of faith. Give me back that change of heart, if you please. In case he somehow survives this onslaught. Now, magician of faith. Gemini elf. And finally, Dark Magician! Fuck yeah! Th that can't be! There's no way you could have defeated me, Yugi! I am the greatest magician the world has ever known! You relied on trickery to win instead of trusting and respecting the heart of the cards. Arcana is gone, so we meet again, little Yugi. I am sure I need no introduction. Show your face to me, Merrick, you coward. Yeah, Merrick uh, just kind of sort of brainwashed Arcana right now, and he's talking through him in case that wasn't clear. I'll reveal myself to you when the time is right, and no sooner. Once I obtain what's mine, and you know exactly what I want, the unlimited power of the ancient Pharaoh. The spirit that lives within your puzzle. Tell me why you want the Pharaoh's power. Because that power is rightfully mine. And once I have it, I will be unstoppable. The world will belong to me. And no one will stand in the way of my destiny. Especially not you. Oh yeah? Just watch me, Merrick. Listen, little Yugi. My family has slaved for centuries protecting the tomb of what... <clears throat> Excuse me. Protecting the tomb of the pharaoh until he has returned. And for what? I should be the pharaoh. Never. I won't get, uh, you won't get the power of the pharaoh and I'll make sure of it. Ah, uh, well, okay, I'm getting kind of tired of the subplot. I just wanted to fight him for the magician thing. Oh, uh, Mary, you'll never defeat me in the duel and you'll never get your greedy hands on my puzzle. I promise you, you stands of each, okay. And what is, what's the name of this card? Beware the quiet one. We'll meet again, Yugi. Exposition leaves. Alright, so now I should scroll all the way down to the final duel. Yugi versus Yugi. Now that the fa Okay, oh uh, yes. We don't need any of this. We just need to test my deck against his.
That petite moth looked very depressed. Oh. That's okay. I don't mind going second. I Means so I'll, I'll be first to attack. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see. I see. I see. Harumph. I gotta be very careful. This is the king of gangs I'm fighting. I'll activate gold sarcophagus. Which will let me select a card to... Hmm. This will come in handy. Scrap Iron Scarecrow. I'll put that aside and then two turns it'll be mine. I'll play this card face down. And I'll summon Familiar Possessed Lina in attack mode. Now, Lina, attack that face down card. Oh, Mirror Force. Yeesh. Okay, no problem. I have a Call of the Haunted I can play. And I can summon a Princess Illusion Magician at any time. As long as I have a card to. Yes. I activate Unpossessed. And I'll also activate Call of the Haunted to bring back Familiar Possessed Lina. Ah, oh, shit. Hey. Okay, then I'll set Magician of Faith so I can grab that Gold Sarcophagus again. I won't summon a Princess Illusion Magician until I can attack. I'm just waiting for the swords to die out. Get me that Gold Sarcophagus from the graveyard, thank you. I activate the effect of Unpossessed, which allows me to bring a Charmer. Cool. I'll set Area just in case he has a water monster on the loose somewhere. Nice. I'll play that. Then I'll play Gold Sarcophagus. This time, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Huh. I gotta bring out Dark Magician Girl at some point, right? It's only natural. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll put... Dark the Dark Charmer in defense mode. By the way, uh, I always pronounced his name Dars with an S sound at the end, but it turns out his name is actually pronounced Dark. Dark the Dark Charmer. Yeah, good to know. Personally, I like Dars better. It sounds more like a name. Oh no. Well, he didn't have to sacrifice a monster to summon the Tricky, but... Oh no. Uh, yes! I activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow! Which acts as like an attack dummy. And then I can just play it face down again. Here we go. Uh-huh. Ow, shit. Uh, my cat is clawing at my foot. Midnight! Yeah, in, in my uh, new workspace, the door has to be open for the cats to get in and out, so my cats are in the room with me while I'm recording. That's a first. I am terrified they're gonna, like, start running amok and, like, knocking into some wires and, sh and stuff, but I'm keeping an eye on them. But it is nice having company here while I'm playing. Oh, I love you guys. Alright, um, what do I want to do? Uh, 
I'll summon the Maiden of Makov. <sighs> That's pretty much all I can do at this point. Now the swords of revealing light are gone, I can attack again. <sighs> it's okay. My scrap iron scarecrow will stop any one attack. No. Because my defense and her attack are the same. Nothing will happen. But unfortunately, there's nothing to possess. Uh, yeah. I don't think I want you to destroy my maiden. Yeah, sorry, Mr. The Tricky. Oh, no. Oh, who he, who he's summoning? Who he's summoning? Who he's summoning? Shit. Of course he would. It wouldn't be a battle against Yugi if he didn't bring out the Dark Magician. We're already on turn 10 and neither one of us has taken damage yet. Ooh, hold up. Hold the phone. Uh-uh. Scroll of Bewitchment. I... Scroll of Bewitchment allows me to select a monster and select their type. And I choose to change the Dark Magician into the Water Magician. Why? Because I can flip some in Iria, the Water Charmer! And she allows me to take control of one water monster. So I take your Dark Magician. And not only that, I will sacrifice him... ...to summon Dark Magician Girl! Come on now! She is so fucking cute! Alright, uh, 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 who, who now, who now? Dark, change to attack mode. Now unleash hell, everyone. Maiden of Macabre. Area of the Water Charmer. Familiar Possessed Lina. Dark the Dark Charmer. And Dark Magician Girl. Also noticed how her attack points went up because of the Dark Magician in your graveyard. <laughs> I just love proclaiming their names as they attack because I'm imagining them like actually launching into battle like in the enemy. Uh. I want technology to evolve to holographic dual monsters like in the enemy. Damn it! Another Dark Magician. This complicates things a bit. Uh, it's okay. Yes. Scrap my scarecrow. Hmm. This is kind of a tricky wicket. Uh, I'll flip area and dark into defense mode. Huh. Hmm. Well, what is her effect? Dare, dare, dare. During damage calculation, if your other dart spellcaster monster battles an opponent's monster, you can send this card from your hand or face up to the field to the graveyard. Yes, I want to do that. From your hand. So I can do it from my hand, right? Okay, shit. I shouldn't have swapped my monsters to defense mode because I could have really laid a hurt on, on him. All right, but Dark Magician Girl attack, and I activate Apprentice Illusion Magician, which will increase her t her attack points, and I win. Yeah! Congratulations. Well done. Thank you, Yami Yugi. It was fun. It was a good match. You were a real bro right till the very end. Yeah, he was talking directly to me, not to Yugi. <laughs> Alright, but I'm not done quite yet. I still want to do one more duel, and that's in the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX section. All the way down to the very end. Against Yugi again. This time it's about, like, uh, Jaden... Going... What? Wing Karibo! Karibo! 
uh, Wayne Karibo brings Jade into a mysterious person with spiky hair. I've been waiting for you, Jade and Yuki. No way! You're... Let's begin your graduation duel. My graduation duel? But I already graduated. Your real graduation duel. I've kept my eye on you these past three years. I want to see whether you have become a duelist worthy of the card I gave you the day you entered Duel Academy. Will you face the Chosen One? What? Where am I? You're Yugimoto! You know who I am? The Chosen One. This may be a weird question, but are you here to duel? Because yesterday, I had a dream where Karibo told me I'll duel someone special. Well, Karibo is never wrong. Let's duel. Uh, Karibo is never wrong. Alright, Dark Charm against Yugi Moto. The Generation Battle. Love you, Yug. May the best duelist win. I've already won two. Let's see if I can make it three for three. Hmm. Hmm. Going on a defensive first turn, eh? No face down cards either. Huh, huh, huh. If I know Yugi's deck, it could be Big Shield Gardener, which is pretty strengthy defense. But whatever. I'll summon Familiar Possessed Asa. And I'll play two cards face down. Now, Familiar Possessed also rock his world. Get it because she's an Earth, she's an Earth type. Ah, oh, Mystical Elf, equally troublesome defense. I can almost take her out if I could just increase attack points a little. Ah! Oh no! Oh, hold up! I'm prepared for this. That's right. Do your cool entrance, buddy. Because bottomless trap hole. Bye, girl. <laughs> nice try. I summon Gemini Elf. Attack. Bet you're regretting using that dark magic curtain. Cost you half your life points. What you gonna do, buddy? What you got? Oh, nothing? Ah, this is gonna be a... This is gonna be a quick duel, then. Uh... I, I activate my dark magic curtain. To summon my dark magician. Alright. Meet thy maker, king of games. <laughs> Dark charm for the win! Thanks, Yugi. That was an awesome duel. You remind me that no matter what happens in the future, there's one thing I'll never forget. The joy of dueling. Hell yeah! Ah, the joy of dueling. I felt it in third grade when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out, when I was starting to collect the cards and trading with kids at school, and I still feel it now, well into my late 20s. Okay. I feel like I need to duel one more, but who? Okay, how about I duel against younger Yu-Gi? I dueled against Yami Yu-Gi. Let's take down the younger Yu-Gi. Bring it on. First to go. Oh, okay, well, since I got a Dark Magician in my hand, Dark Magic Curtain is very useless. I could find some reason to discard it. Fairy Tale Snow is a good card to have if he has a strong monster. I can play it to flip it into defense mode. 
Uh, I'll start with Familiar Possessed Win in attack mode. Your turn. I gotta wonder, how different are his cards from Yami Yugi? Mm-hmm. Uh, of course he would also have Swords of Revealing Light. Oh, if only I had a heavy storm on me right now, you would be in big trouble. Huh? Hmm. Good defense. But nothing on the offensive so far. I activate Pot of Greed, which allows me to draw two cards. Hmm. I summon White Magician Pikaru. I'm hoping he doesn't attack her, because every turn she'll increase my life points by 400. Shit. Going after my Pikaru after I just brought her out. Alright, let's see how it is. I summon Berry Magician Girl. When I summon her, I can bring out a Magician Girl into my hand. And... I'll bring out Apple Magician Girl. And in my turn. Go ahead. You can attack Berry Magician Girl if you want. She has another effect. Now he can draw two cards. Is he trying to draw for something specific? Yes. I activate Berry Magician Girl, which allows me to sw swap her into defense mode and summon Dark Magician Girl. She knows how to make an entrance. Go ahead, make my day. Pretty steady formation you got going on. Alright, activate Graceful Charity. Let's me draw three cards and then discard any two. Ooh, okay. I discard. And I'll also discard Dark Magician. And then I can play Call of the Haunted to bring him back. You see? Look at me strategizing. I summon Chocolate Magician Girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And let's see. Uh, ha-ha, ha-ha, ha-ha. I'm trying to think, trying to think. What what other effects does Chocolate Magician Girl have? When she's... Uh, I can do a, a, a spellcaster from the graveyard. Like Pikaru. Cool. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. But I can't do anything at the moment. But the swords of revealing light are gone. So next turn I will unleash hell. But hopefully he won't unleash hell first. I'm not activating my uh, Call of the Haunted just yet. Ugh, Silent Magician. Gotta be careful with that one. Uh-oh. Already, you can just level up into Silent Magician level, what, 8? Oh, no. Shit. That's troublesome. Oh, but the but. Their defense is only 1,000, and with my fairy tale Snow, I can counter that. Good. Oof. But this first attack is probably gonna hurt. Huh? Who are you attacking? Yes, I activate Chocolate Magician Girl to bring back Dark Magician. I never get tired of that. Aww, did your attack points get weakened as well? 
Uh. Shit. Uh, but... You activated Magician Circle. Which works for me, too. So what Magician do I want? Uh. Hmm. I guess I'll go with Lemon Magician Girl. Can't keep a good magician down. Not for long. I summon Fairy Tale Snow. And she allows me to flip your monster into defense mode. Now I attack. Chocolate Magician Girl, destroy Silent Magician. Dark Magician Girl, destroy Stronghold. Gotta be careful. Win the Wind Charmer, destroy Alpha, the Magnet Warrior. And Fairy Tale Snow, destroy Witch of the Black Forest. Huh. Marshmallow shit. It's okay. Fairy Tale Luna can come in handy with Marshmallow. But I need to get rid of some monster spaces. That's Marshmallow. Definitely. And if I attack it, I'll take a thousand points of damage and it won't be able to, um, die. Okay. Activate Wonder Wand and equip it to Lemon Magician Girl. And then I'll activate it by uh, sending both to the graveyard. I can draw two cards. Uh, okay, I activate the field card Yami, which increases the attack points of all spellcasters and fiends by 200. I'll play this card face down. And I summon Fairy Tale Luna. I activate her effect. Oh, well, first I activate her first effect, which uh, I guess I'll put Familiar Princess Dark in my hand. And then I will attack, I guess. Uh, fine. Do your worst, Marshmallow. I activate. Yes. I should be good. Fairy Tail Snow attack. Chocolate Magician Girl. And finally, Familiar Possessed Win. Boom! Dunzo! That's four for four, baby! I defeat... I defeat Arcana, Yami Yugi twice in two different dimensions, two different generations, and then regular Yugi. I'd say that makes me the official king of games, or at least the official master of magicians. I'll take that title over... Um, uh, over Arcana, at least. So, that'll about do it for this episode. This was a really fun little, um... Uh, side adventure so thank you everyone for tuning in oh well hold, wait before i uh leave let's uh take a little time to go to the card shop uh, i'll get like a few packs of cards okay some nice ones i don't know if there are any new ones but i'm just kind of breezing through yes yes i love it it's all the feeling of opening a new pack of cards. Uh, I only wish how much I actually have. Anyway, that'll about do it for this episode. 
Thank you everyone for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the- Oh! Azurai Silver Dragon! Oh, that is a pretty beaut. Okay, uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Later!